Could something in your own home be making you sick? Tonight we take a look at a controversial illness that one young woman says ruined her life. Looking at Claire Kelly, you would never guess how sick she is. My hair started falling out. Um, I had crazy fatigue. Um, but the 33-year-old DC yoga and Pilates instructor says that for the last two years she's been suffering, the result of a hidden toxin in her home. It was absolutely terrifying. It all started when she was diagnosed with kidney stones. Doctors told Claire she should bounce back quickly, but instead things got worse and the symptoms continued. Weird rashes, dizziness, balance problems. I took a vision test, a particular kind of vision test where you're supposed to be able to see and pick up on particular patterns, and I didn't see a lot of the patterns, and that test ended up being a test for neurotoxins. Her doctor told her those neurotoxins could be coming from her environment, anything from lead to arsenic. And so suddenly, the world becomes a very unsafe place. Was it something in my house? Was it something just in D.C.? Turned out it was an air conditioning vent directly above her bed, caked in black mold, the result of water damage from Hurricane Sandy. Environmental testers came out and found the levels of mold in her building to be thousands of times higher than the air outside. And like it doesn't occur to me that the walls are what's making me sick. It was in her body, too. Tests found that she had high levels of two types of toxins produced by molds. According to Dr. Gary Kaplan, a family physician who specializes in treating chronic pain, it's those toxins from the mold that can make some people very sick. Studies have shown that up to 25 percent of people can't break down these substances, so it can pool in organs like the brain or lungs. So symptoms can run anywhere from the spectrum to mild in terms of focus concentration issues to severe with people looking as if they have conditions such as multiple sclerosis. Mold poisoning is a controversial diagnosis. The Centers for Disease Control says there's not enough evidence to support it. The agency only recognizes mold allergies. It was a baseball bat to my life. Claire um, Kelly says her life is on hold right now. She had to drop out of graduate school. She teaches yoga when she can to pay the bills. Much of her day is spent treating her condition, taking dozens of pills, antifungal medications and supplements, and breathing through a nebulizer twice a day. I feel positive that, you know, I have a treatment plan, that I have this amazing community that's been so, so supportive. Dr. Kaplan told us it's a certain type of mold that may be dangerous. Typically, it appears greenish black and is usually caused by water damage. And again, it's the toxins produced by the mold, not the mold itself that some believe can cause health problems. The CDC says getting sick from these toxins is extremely rare, but everyone agrees more research needs to be done. Wow.